Um, well, I think, first of all, the fact that I'm here, that we're here, and we're actually here with the same stand that we saw at Geneva, shows the importance. And I think it shows the importance of China to many markets and to many manufacturers. And for us, it's my second market. It used to be my first several years ago. Um, and we want to become more international. So it's very, very important that we're here, that we represent ourselves, and make sure that all of the work that we're doing in Europe with the new positioning for Citroen, make sure that it gets rolled out properly here as well. So very, very important. Uh, and particularly important for us because we want to become more international. I, I think it has. I mean, everybody's talking about electrification, everybody's talking about mobility, um, and everything's moving at such a speed, and you only have to come to China and go, go here one year, and in one year you see so many things. Uh, and that's true about urban mobility. It's true about electrification. You know, five years ago here, electric cars, nobody ever heard about it. Now, they're leading the way in terms of battery supply, for example. So you're absolutely right, everybody's here, and I will later hopefully get a tour of the show to see the many, many brands, Chinese brands that are here, that I've got some really interesting stuff. But I think it's technology, and it's particularly how they deal with smartphone technology, digital, uh, digitalization, um, and the urban mobility, which for us is a real thing now we're thinking of, because we've got to. I think the word that you have to use is you have to be agile, because this, word, this world now is chaotic, and it changes so quickly. You know, so many things have happened in the past couple of years, and will happen in the next 10 years, that never happened in 20 years, so the progress is enormous. So enormous. So what you have to do is you have to keep looking at the trends um, and you have to check, take a subject and just be bold. Because if you wait for everybody, you will be right behind. It's, you don't necessarily have to be the leader in everything, but you have to be a very quick follower. And you know, this is why uh, Citroen's got a bit of a history in its 100 years of always trying to look for innovative things. Um, you know, we were the, 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 the manufacturer that invented the, the monospace, the MPV, for example. Um, and we really believe that we need to tackle the question of urban mobility um, because it's affecting, you know, we know that soon cars won't be allowed into in, into cities if they're not electric, people don't necessarily want to own a car, they want access and so on and so on. And we needed to think right now and this is why we've done the concept AMI1, uh, which is not just an object, although everybody gets taken away by the object and it being cute and sweet, but to be honest with you, it's about the customer and what they would do with this object. Um, do they own it? Do they rent it? Do they car share it? Uh, do they have it five years? Do they have it five minutes? Uh, they enter it only with their smartphone? All of those things we have to think about because otherwise we'll be too late and the world would have taken us away. So you have to be agile. Until we get maybe to 2040 and 2045, and I, I don't think I'll be in this position at that point, is that there will still be people who want to own a car, but they want security, they want autonomous uh, features, etc., etc. But there will be a much more growing part of the community that actually want just access to a car. And we have to adapt. So we have to change our business model.